uh, and nobody's losing. So we um, pleased to remember they're here um, to perform for you, and um, they're excited. They're a little nervous, and we're hoping that it's going to be entertaining. And thank you for choosing us over baseball just for today. <laughs> we know that it's a very important game we're competing with. And so um, I will leave it to the MC. Um, Hello, how's everyone doing tonight? Hey, Grace. Uh, anyway. Good. 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 All right, thank you. Uh, hi, I'm Grace, and I'll be your uh, master of ceremony tonight. Um, I'm really hoping that you guys have a wonderful time tonight. Um, just a disclaimer, these are your kids, your friends, family, um, the ones that you love. A um, couple rules, no throwing tomatoes. Uh, no, yeah, no. no booing. Especially me. Thanks. Um, and if you don't want your kids to be embarrassed by booing tomatoes, uh, don't boo or any other kids, and I'd like to hand this off to Hannah Tyus, who will be playing something with her ukulele. Is 
uh, another one of the MC's jobs is to keep the crowd entertained while I announce other people coming out to perform. So I've created a list of jokes that I think are funny, so I'm hoping that you think they're funny. Um, I'm very close friends with 25 letters of the alphabet. I don't know why. No, please, no, it's lost. It gets better. I like whoever invented an escalator because an escalator can never break. It will only become stairs. You will never see a temporarily out of order sign on an escalator. You will see a sorry temporary stairs. No, please, calm your excitement. <laughs> Our next performer is a dear friend of mine named Kayla Sanford, performing a song called Oceans.
Probably not an outside game, actually. As Odini once said, Oh! For those who don't get that joke, Houdini was killed by one punch to the stomach on accident, performing, uh, I guess, magic, I don't know. Um, there was once a Spanish magician who told anyone that he could disappear to the capital. So he got everyone's attention and said, Uno, dos, and vanished without a trace. Speaking of magic, our next two performers are going to be demonstrating sleight of hand, disappearance, and more. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to welcome Mason Carpenter and Casey Killingsworth. Refresh my mind on this joke. You're European! Ah, uh, no, I'm just, it's okay, guys. I don't have to laugh. I know it wasn't that funny. <laughs> okay, a horse walked into a bar, okay? The bartender asked him, why do you have such a long face? Aha! Got y'all on that one, too. Okay, so you find two lucky people yet? Um, I am lucky. Come on, does anybody want to come up here and help us out tonight? Here is one person right here. Casey, would you like to come up here and help us? Come on, yes. Up. We got some paper cases over there. Kindly follow me. <laughs> okay, tonight I'm going to be demonstrating a little sleight of hand or what you call fake magic. But I'll be using an original deck of cards for y'all tonight. Okay. Oh, okie dokie, guys. Okay, well, I'm going to show you all something really cool. You ready for this? Ooh, that was cool, wasn't it? You see how sick that was? What? Okay, guys, I'm just going to need one of y'all real quick to choose. Which one of y'all wants to go first? I'll go first? Okay. Can you choose a card for me? Okay, show Katie. Go ahead, Matt. I'm just going to walk over here real quick. And there's certain things about this deck and I want y'all to know before we ever even get started. Me and my dad are best friends. I know everything he knows. So can you put this back in there for me? Put it back in the middle. Got it? Okay, look. I'm thinking for a minute that most of y'all think all this magic is fake. But I just want to show you something. These two ladies right here are going to see it, but I don't think y'all will. But, okay, look, you see how all the decks are different? But that one. Is that your card now? Oh. Wow. Yeah. Long right now. <laughs> I know, man. I just. Okay. Let me find this. I got another thing in here for you. Oh, got my deck of cards. Sorry about that. I was looking for something. Okay. Okie dokie. Let's see. Look. This is just an ordinary deck of cards. You both see. You both see. Okay, can I get both of y'all to stand in front of me real quick? Okay, I need y'all to tell me when to stop, and that will be y'all's card. Stop. Okay, that, ladies and gentlemen, is your card. Could you take this, and don't show me, but show the audience your card so they can see. Okay, so this is going to be good when you think so? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, here we go. Okay, show the audience. Okay, I don't want to see your card, so here, put it back on top where I don't see it. And I'm going to split this deck real quick. Neither one of these are your cards before I look at it, right? Okay, good. Okay, dokie. I already know your card, okay? Our dead guard told me why y'all were looking over there. So, I'm going to show y'all. Let's find it. 
Is your card the Eight of Hearts? Is that your card? But first, I want to show you something. I'm going to get this marker, and I'm going to sign my name to this card. And I want to show you something. Sign my name, okay? I want to prove something to you. Casey, I want you to take this card, and I want you to hold on to it for me. I want to put it in your back pocket if you want. All right. And first, who had the lucky folder for me? Could you raise your hand for me? Casey, could you go get that for me? I will. Okay. Go ahead and throw these back in there. Ah, my lucky bag of magic, you know what I mean, people? Y'all know what? Oh. Ah. Did you get it, Casey? I did. Okay, good. You still got the card? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Don't don't give it to me. I just want to show y'all something. Casey, that card's not in your back pocket. I'm just going to tell you that, okay? It's not in there no more. Your card's in this folder right here. Why y'all want to look at it? This is magic of my own. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let me open this. Oh, no. Is that your card? What? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. 
is teaching me the art of theater. He is opening my eyes to the world of acting, the world of coming out here and being someone else. Uh, he's been a teacher for me for many, many reasons of just becoming someone who I want to better myself in theater. Uh, if ladies and gentlemen might know this man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Michael Moore. Thank you everyone. Thank you for coming tonight. The song I'm about to do is an old folk song that was written in the early 1900s in the slums of Chicago, and it's called Tell O'Neill. Tell old Bill when he come home this morning. Tell old Bill when he come home this evening. Tell old Bill when he come home to leave in downtown with the this morning, this evening, so soon. Bill's was baking bread this morning. Bill's was making bread this evening. Bill's woman was breaking bread when they brought her new son. Bill was dead this morning.
have us backstage dancing. I'm sure you guys out here were moving. I heard y'all clapping. I wish I could work a stage like that. So to write some of these jokes, I had to take into consideration that there were some younger people in the audience. So here are some jokes by a kid that is my neighbor, I guess you could say. Why can't dinosaurs drive? Because. Because they're all dead. <laughs> yes, a four-year-old said that. Here's another one. If you like that one. What did the ear of corn say when he noticed he was naked? Ah, <laughs> oh, shucks. <laughs> I really wish that I had that little adorable girl to come out here and you know, just say that. And she does it way better than me because she's four. Um, our next performer is a uh, pretty close friend of mine. She uh, she likes a little bit of the same music as me. You know, I like to jam out in class. You think I look morbid? Buckle up. Um, next performer is the one, the only. Jessica Donahoe. All of these lines across my dreams tell you the story of Thank you. 
That's very nice. Ladies, we all know what tomorrow is, and I'd like to thank all the mothers out there that have supported their children. And I'd like to thank all the moms for raising those of us children to be the best adults that we can be. So I'd like to thank you. Fellas, we know what tomorrow is. Hope you got your gifts. Uh -huh. <laughs> no. Might be a little late. But that's okay. My mom told me once that she had a midlife crisis at the age of 25. Realized shortly after I was born when she was 25. <laughs> this next joke is dedicated to my dad, who used to be a roofer, so the dad up there. Oh. <laughs>